Hi, I'm Sherry Gore and I'm from Pinecraft, the Amish Mennonite community set in Sarasota, Florida. Today I'm making a recipe called marinated vegetables. And now that I have my vegetables ready, I'm going to go ahead and get the dressing prepared. To a medium saucepan, we're going to add some sugar. We're going to add just a little bit of salt. We're going to take vinegar, and you can use white vinegar or apple cider, whatever you happen to have in your cupboard. And to these ingredients, we're going to add a little bit of canola oil. Now I'm going to take my saucepan and I'm going to go ahead and put it on the stove and bring it to a boil. Now while my dressing ingredients are coming to a boil, I'm going to go ahead and combine the rest of the ingredients. Now, in case you haven't heard of Pinecraft, it's the world's only Amish Mennonite community that doesn't use horse and buggy for transportation. We either walk to where we want to get to or we use bicycle. And I happen to live right around the corner from Yoder's Fresh Market Produce, which is where I pick up my, veg my fresh vegetables just about every day. Now for this recipe, we're going to use chopped green onions and some bell peppers. And we're also going to use some corn. Now you don't have to use fresh for this recipe. It's very simple. In a pinch you can just go to your pantry and take out what the recipe calls for here. We've got our corn. We also have some, definitely come out of a can, water chestnuts. So we're going to add these. And I have pimentos. So we're going to add the entire can of pimentos to this recipe. Now we're going to add some peas and you can either use fresh or canned. Now, marinated vegetables recipe is a nice recipe to bring to a sewing, which we gather once a month on Wednesdays to make quilts or dresses. Now, we're also going to add some green beans to this, and this makes a really easy dish to make for picnics. Now, to the rest of these, I'm going to go ahead and add some chopped celery. Now, if you happen to be missing one or two of these ingredients, no problem. Recipes really are more of a guideline, so whatever you have in the cupboard or that you can pick up at your local produce will be just fine. And to my prepared vegetables, I'm going to go ahead and add the dressing ingredients. We're going to pour this over the top. We want to get all of it out there. We want all of these ingredients to mingle, so what I'm going to do after I've stirred it all up and combined everything, I'm going to go ahead and put this in the refrigerator overnight so the flavors can mingle really good. I'm Sherry Gore. Thank you for joining me. You can find this recipe and more in my cookbook, Simply Delicious Amish Cooking.